Here's kind of a neat animation, and I'm going to uh, talk to you a little bit about some components of diagnosing gum disease and treatment. And I'm going to pause that here for just a second and show you the instrument that is used to measure pockets. And I think you're probably familiar with the dentist or hygiene calling out the number. You see two, four, three, five. And basically what we're talking about is the gum tissue around the necks of the teeth. Now, you see the biofilm plaque. This is, this is very old, old plaque. And you see the red, and this is inflammation. And when plaque is on there long enough, it begins to calcify. It gets to be rock hard. It, it has minerals that are incorporated into the surface. And so you see this infection set up. So one of the things we're going to show here in just a second is the treatment for that. And here's a toothbrush, and it shows that when that plaque gets calcified, it cannot be removed. That's why there's not an effective home remedy for gum disease. There's nothing that you can do at home when it gets to this point and you have this pocketing. This is an ultrasonic instrument, and I want to make a point right here. You see the water spray that's used to cool the tip. The majority of dentists and dental hygienists are using water in this tip. I much prefer an antiseptic, and I want you to ask your dentist or hygienist when they use this instrument, is that an antimicrobial or antiseptic that they're irrigating your gums with? That's very, very important for this treatment. The vast majority of hygienists right now are not doing that. This is an instrument that smooths off and removes that last calcified layer. And then the very less, last step is uh, taking what we call a rubber cup and an abrasive and polishing and making these roots as smooth as possible so that the biofilm cannot attach to the roots as readily. So um, as soon as all of that debris is removed, the first thing that happens is the gums begin, be, they lose their redness and they begin to turn pink 